Is it possible to make a man devoted to you and to make a man want to be with you by simply admiring him? I say, yes, it's possible. And this is something that a lot of my coaching clients, when they start working with me, don't believe me. But when they then follow my advice, then they realize very fast that admiration is a superpower when it comes to your ability to attract the man of your dreams. And that's exactly why today I want to show you how to admire a man into devotion. And no, that's something that I want to put here as a big disclaimer. Admiring him doesn't mean that you are inferior to him and that you put him on a pedestal and that he's superior to you. It doesn't mean anything like that. Admiring a man simply means to look at him and to see your dream guy in him, to see that this man has the qualities that you want to have in a man, or at least he has these qualities a little bit, and by you admiring him, he will develop these qualities even more, which is, by the way, incredibly effective if you want to not only attract an amazing man, but you want to make him even more amazing. It's basically like build a bear where you build your own boyfriend, that by admiring him, you turn him into the man that he has the potential to become and that you want him to become. That's what makes admiration so powerful, or let's better say that's one of the reasons why admiring him is so powerful. And again, it doesn't mean that you are inferior to him, that he's superior, it doesn't mean any of that. And admiration also doesn't mean, or let's say the act of admiring him also doesn't mean that it has to be a one-way street. Admiration can be and should be a two-way street. The more you admire him for his masculine qualities that he truly values about himself, the more he will admire you for the amazing feminine qualities that he's looking for in a partner. And this will make him decide even faster that you are the right woman for him. And when it comes to admiration, always remember that the best way to win him over, the best way to make him devoted to you with the power of admiration is to admire him for something that he either wants to admire himself about or that he already admires himself about. So to give you practical examples, if you meet a man who has a lot of potential, let's say you're a younger woman, you're a woman in your 20s, and you meet a man who's in his 20s, and this guy might have just finished college, or he just started his first entry position at a company, and you see a lot of potential in him, and he wants to define himself as an ambitious, successful man. That's how he wants to look at himself. That's who he wants to become. And you see clear signs that he has the potential to become this man. Then the best thing you can do in this situation is to admire him for exactly these qualities, or let's say this particular quality of ambition combined with success. If, however, you are dating a man in his 20s and he's playing five hours of video games a day, he's smoking weed all day long and he doesn't do anything while he tells you every day, I'm going to start this business, I'm going to become a millionaire, I'm going to become successful, oh, you will see. And you don't see any evidence whatsoever that could indicate that he's on that path, then of course you have to be careful because you don't want to admire a man who's not worthy of your admiration. And that's something that I want you to keep in mind throughout this episode. And of course, also, whenever in future episodes, I talk about admiring a man, that doesn't mean that you have to put yourself in this role where you admire a man who's not worthy of your admiration. Of course not. I mean, you want to attract a man who is already successful or who at least has the potential to become very successful. You don't want to attract some random dude who's just playing video games and wasting his life. And if you are, like I just mentioned in this example, with a man who has a lot of potential, who might not have the opportunities yet to really completely fulfill his potential, because, well, he's in his 20s, he just finished college, he has his first job, then, of course, you can't expect him to get a promotion every three months. That's not how it works. In this case, you need to bet on potential. And that's why it's so important to not just look for potential, but to also look for cues if he's moving towards his potential, towards the fulfillment of his potential. And now let's have a look at the second example. Let's say you're a woman in your 30s or 40s or 50s, and you meet a man in that age range that you're in. And this man already proved 
that he has fulfilled his potential at least to a certain extent he has already achieved some success then of course you can admire him for his success that he already achieved and for the qualities that he clearly has because otherwise he wouldn't have achieved this success in this case you can admire him for qualities that are already there and you don't have to bet on potential but no matter if you're dating a younger man or an older gentleman no matter if you're dating a man who has already reached this level of fulfillment when it comes to his potential or a man who's still working towards fulfilling his potential it's important for you to find out during the conversation on your first date with him or maybe even earlier if you can when you for example get to know him at a party or a private event or a networking event to find out what he admires about himself one of the best questions and i know it sounds kind of like a job interview question but one of the best questions you can ask a man on the first date is the following question what quality do you admire most about yourself or alternatively what quality do you want to have or do you want to expand do you want to improve that is really important for you if you ask him either one of these questions he will give you exactly what you need to admire him into devotion it's really that simple and then of course i want you to be sincere offer sincere heartfelt compliments that again highlights this particular aspect of him that highlights his strength his achievements his positive traits because again always keep in mind yes you want to admire him yes you want to give him the feeling that you admire these qualities about him but only if he actually has these qualities and this is a very dangerous trap that some of my coaching clients fell into and that's when they met a guy and for some reason they felt this intense sexual attraction to him or sometimes an attraction that they can't even describe and then they filled in the blanks in their subconscious mind so in other words they are with a guy who on paper didn't show any qualities that this particular coaching client of mine wanted to have in the relationship but she then assumed because of the initial attraction that she felt for him that this man has these qualities and we all fall into this trap when we are attracted to somebody we always subconsciously wish that this person is exactly the way we want them to be even though there are more red flags than in a communist party i mean that's something that you have to look out for that you don't simply say oh yeah he's so ambitious oh i love how ambitious you are you're so ambitious oh my god i love it and then he just looks at you and says oh thank you while he's playing six hours of video games a day that's of course also not what you want you want to only admire a man who's worthy of your admiration and then share your authentic self with him share with him what qualities that you admire in yourself what kind of person you are and of course also what kind of woman you want to become i mean the more you are on a journey towards self-improvement the more likely it is for you to attract a man who's vibrating on the same level and who also wants to improve the qualities about himself because let's face it we human beings are not perfect and i believe there's always room for improvement both for men and women i believe it with every human being and if you then share your authentic self with him while you're at the same time admiring him for the qualities that I just mentioned and you give him the opportunity to truly connect with you on a deep emotional level by you sharing stories with him stories from your past stories from your childhood crazy experiences that you had fun memories with friends that are popping up in your mind while you're talking to him then you are sharing your authentic self and you're doing it in the most playful honest and authentic way and that's when he will fall for you more and more and more and oh one thing that i actually forgot to mention if you want to make him so devoted to you in that process by using the devotion sequence on him then you can go to gethimkeepim.com slash devoted or click on the second link in the description to watch an eye-opening video in which you will learn more about the power of the devotion sequence and throughout this process of you admiring him always remember that the more understanding and compassion you show for him the easier it will be for him to get the feeling that you are the only woman he ever met who truly understands him and truly gets him so in other words if he for example wants to become a really ambitious man or he's already a very successful and ambitious man and you then admire him for this quality 
make sure that you also ask questions and maybe make statements in regards to the struggles that he went through to become this man or in regards to the sacrifices that he had to make or that he's willing to make in order to achieve the success he wants to achieve. Because that's how you show him that you can put yourself in his shoes. That's how you show empathy. And this is what will make him fall for you even more. And what will make it way easier for you to attract the man of your dreams is to vibrate on the frequency of love is to fall in love with yourself, to fall in love with your life, to learn dating strategies that make it almost impossible for a man to not fall in love with you, and to learn everything about male psychology and to truly understand men, how they think, how they feel, what they want in a relationship on a deep emotional level. And if you want to master all these aspects, then you're ready for the Love Magnet Coaching Program. And if you want to find out more about my eight-week Love Magnet Coaching Program, you can go to gethimkeephim.com slash magnet or click on the first link in the description. And if you enjoyed watching this video, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Share your opinion, share your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. And I would love it even more if you would hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.